Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Jack 3 Semi Platinum here with Jesse. We're about to go fight, I think, Errol. I think. I don't really remember. I wonder if the boss will just let me lay into them. Bosses in this game are so limited in their, like, design. Like, sometimes I just want to unload all of my super weapon ammo into someone and just dominate them. That's what I call it, too, when I'm in bed. <laughs> the dominating someone? With <laughs> no, your laying super... all my super weapon ammo and them. Ladies, he's single. <laughs> Ladies, I think we know why. <laughs> the Dominator. I don't actually know if this is the right way to go. No, I think this is where I'll go when we're done this stage. Oh, gosh. Alright, so, where do we leave off? Drakengard Dubstep Remix. Go watch the last episode. <laughs> Assuming it's there. Like I said, that's a lot of effort. Ollie loves doing this stuff. Does he though? I don't know, but I, I have a feeling like that it takes a lot more effort than you think it does. So just it takes doing a it village, randomly, okay? Just randomly doing it because you ask is like a lot of uh, time. Ollie loves this, assumably. Oh gosh, I wonder if I have to do that one thing I do from time to time. Ah, <laughs> this shit. Okay, I may have misread the situation. Break it? Okay, don't shoot the grenade launcher at it. Am I missing something? Oh. It's funny because I did the most sense like... Oh, you got a... Uh, pipe slide it? sequence? You know what to do, Ollie. Oh, no, this is... Never mind. Cut it out, Ollie. It's over. It's over. Oh, this part looks fun. It's like Dr. Muto. I was just gonna say that. I'm getting bad Dr. Muto flashbacks. Is this the whole segment? Just me hitting the switch? And it's gonna Jack get more difficult through? than that, obviously. You got to do that the entire time. Daxter, you couldn't have timed it so the thing went completely flat? <laughs> that was it? That was the whole puzzle? Why even make me do that? I tell it's, it's the introduction to the puzzle, Trevor. Where do we go? Am I... Missing something? Do I turn this back on? Break those? Oh, oh, I can go up here. I think. Looks like I... Oh, yeah, alright. Ah, douche! That ooh that uh, Jack ooh. made was uh, Don Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong. Ooh! I think we called attention to that once. Ooh! Where he, like, looks at the camera like he just got in trouble. But yeah, I got to the snow level, and he's just like, Hey, I, I was like... I fell down, and then I ended up at the end of the stage. I'm like, yeah, you found the barrel. You, he cheated. He didn't yeah. cheat. Yeah, he just did the shortcut. Yeah. I used to have to do that when I was a kid to get through the uh I didn't know where it levels. was. I can never tell where it was. I think it's on one of the bottom barrels, but... Yeah, I used to have to do it all the time to get through those uh My only problem levels. is I don't know what game to give him next that's on that console. Uh, what is, is it the, um... There's no more platformers. The only thing I'll, I think Mega Man X might be on there, but, uh, If he thinks Donkey Kong is hard, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Man X is so much fun, though. Uh, yeah, I don't think my dad would be able to handle that game. No, I think it's a bit much. I think that's, that's a lot. What games did your parents used to play? What? My dad was a gamer before I was even born. No, I know that, but, like, what was his game? Like, what was his Mario Brothers and, and stuff in the arcade, like Pac-Man and stuff like that. Oh, yeah? And then, like, Galaga. My mom used to play, and I'm not making Pong. this up. No. Uh, Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, you told me that. Religiously. Like, and Mario she would just, Kart. She would just, like, sit, Oh, yeah, my mom loves Mario Kart. But, like, she would religiously, she would just sit there, and I would come home... My dad's favorite game is Halo, actually, but... Like, Halo's rad. It's a good game to love. And yeah, I'd like come home from school and I would like find my mom sitting in front of the TV playing Star Fox Adventures, making absolutely no progress. <laughs> yeah, because you know she doesn't quite understand. Ah, I don't. Double yeah, jump. that's how that's how my that's how my dad finishes games. He just smashes his head against the table until eventually the table breaks. Yeah, that's exactly my mom. So like I would come through and she'd be like, "I've been staring at this village for like 45 minutes," and I'd be like, "There's a fireball thing right there, mom." Oh, and then she'll like hit the fireball thing, and she'd be like, "Dope!" And then it's like, back. She at would the say action. that literally to you, "Dope, <laughs> dope!" And then she'd be back at it. My mom's a thug, you know that. <laughs> um... I'm gonna use this grenade launcher for a while because I never use it, even though it's a really good weapon. This game, and this is the stupidest complaint, I swear. 
But this game gives you too many amazing options. Like, because every gun is incredible in this game, it's really hard to justify changing your gun. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the door just... Well, whatever, I don't care. I, I fixed it. Solved the puzzle. What about you? What? What? Tell me in the comments. What? What was your parents' video game? Did your parents even play video games? Yeah, my dad also like. Uh, he like played. Uh, so like my uh, my dad's friend who had the NES gave it to somebody else, even though my dad was the only one who played it. What? Makes no sense to yeah, me. Well, or my okay. dad, but uh, so then my dad, of course, decided to buy the Super Nintendo, which is why I have it. Which Man, is that Super Nintendo right there. That Super Nintendo is dope. Super Nintendo is incredible. I'm right? pretty sure he bought that like. Literally the year I was born or after I was born. I remember whenever I used to go to my friends' places and they had a Sega Genesis, I was never, like, pumped about the Sega. Like, my, I, my, uh, my friend, when I, I actually do have experience with the Sega Genesis because my friend uh, had one. I had one, too. I told you about that. Yeah, yeah, Where I had to give it away because I he bought it and he had the, the cords. But um, I had the, uh, he had the Sega Genesis and uh, we would, that's where I played Sonic 2 and, like, Golden Axe and Toe Jam and Earl and, like... yeah. All that stuff at his house. Just I've the never been thing. good at Toad Jam. I, hate, I hated that game. I didn't hate it, but I, whenever we played it, I was like, we could be playing like anything else. I, Toad Jam and Earl. I know it's a classic, but I always it was. A I game never liked of, it. It was always a game of what am I supposed to do? Yeah, that was another problem we had. Oops. We could never figure out where to go, so we never really played it that much. Uh, we had Fantasy Star, where that was another problem, where it was kind of like we're too young to be playing Fantasy Star and appreciating what we're actually supposed to do to solve the puzzles. So we just couldn't do it. So we just never yeah. played that. So we played mostly like Sonic Two and like Golden Axe and like Streets of Rage. Oh man, we uh, my buddy, all my buddies had a. Uh, so I actually played a lot of the Sega Genesis yeah, classics, so I, which man. is weird. But we played this in like the early like like 2003, 2004, not like when you would think we would, which is in the mid 90s. We uh we played a lot of like Altered Beast, Sonic Two. Uh, what else did we used to play? The uh, all those Disney movie video games. Like, all my, one of my friends, all of my friends had at least one. So like, someone had Aladdin. Aladdin's awesome, by the way. That's a great platformer. Um, so one of my friends had Aladdin. Another person had the infamous Lion King video game. Everyone remembers that. What game uh, did you have for the games? Did you have for the Super Nintendo or your friends had, I had that you played? Uh, the games I had personally were Super Mario World, great game, and John Madden Football. <laughs> great game? Actually, <laughs> I didn't understand how football was played, but you were allowed to tackle people in the huddle, so which you... is super not allowed in football, <laughs> so, but like, it was pretty funny. So that's all you did. But you, there was like an animation where they would be like carried off the field and you would get like a red card, but like... I wish I could find- Ollie, if you could find this, and I feel like I've asked you for this before, but, like, can you find, like, the opening, like, music to, like, John Madden football? But, like, it had, like, a little, like, ta ta touchdown do 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 So, like, we would, obviously, as kids, not have a clue how real football is played, but we would just tackle the shit out of, like... We would just beat the shit out of the other players. No, uh, so, um, uh, what I have, did you have anything else? Uh, nope, Super Mario World. Oh, I had Wario's Woods, actually. Uh, really, really what did your Wario's friends Woods. have that you played with them? What the fuck? That was a big good guy. <laughs> Not him. <laughs> Not Jerry. <laughs> What's the deal? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so what games did your friends have that you played? All of them. Really? Yeah, my, I, I had a lot of like really hardcore gamer friends. So like, I had friends with Kirby All Star. I had friends with Mario All Star. I never even heard of that game. Explain it to me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, oh, what is? Oh god. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, that was the boost button. Um, unsure what <laughs> doing. Oh, 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 oh. What kind oh. of license you got? Fishing license. Um, oh gosh, oh my gosh. No, I had, uh, I had Super Mario World, Stanley Cup Hockey, um... Everyone I knew had Super Mario World, and I mean, why not? It was dope. Like, it's incredible. Uh, dope wait, I had Stanley Cup Hockey, Street Fighter 2, the OG. <laughs> the OG? <laughs> like, no turbo or nothing, just vanilla Street no! Fighter No! Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack falling at the car to the face, like, back to him. I going, have Mario's oh. Preschool Fun, still have all these games, by the way. Mario's Preschool Fun. Yeah. Um, Buster Bust Loose. He did bust loose. And, um, hold on. 
Oh, I'll, uh, Jesse has left the building to go ch tell us what he's working with. Man, you Mark really gotta hammer this thing. I don't know where I got it from, but I got it. Um, yeah, Mario's really a real oh, I have Mario Paint. Mario Paint. Well, that glass recovered pretty nicely. And I had... That's I, it. Everyone had Mario Paint, too. I remember that. Yeah. Um, that's all I had. Sorry. That's all I had. Uh, my friends, though, had... Yoshi's Island, which we never really got past the first world much. Oh, uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, which we played a lot of. And, uh... I love Donkey Kong Country 2. That's no one, it. No one actually had... None of my friends actually had Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. But I did, like... I remember very well, I used to, um... I used to play it a lot because I think we used to rent it a lot. I love Donkey this, Kong we, Country we, we, 2. We lived in, like, the poor area, so, like, obviously at this point the N64 was probably out, but nobody had one. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. I remember I didn't even know the N64 was a thing. No, until... neither did I. Not until after I went to one of my dad's friend's house. And, and he had one. And yeah. he had one, yeah. I never even knew it was a thing. I was being... T I was giving... I had a tutor who was, like, giving me, like, I don't remember, like, math lessons or something like that. And then when I was done, I was allowed to go in the basement and play video games. And one day I went down and they had an N64 and I was like... What is this? And then they showed me Mario 64, and my little brain could not take that shit. I think shit. the first 64 game I saw was Ocarina of Time. Well, check this shit out. He's got a- I found some new friends to help me conquer this puny little planet. He's got a cool design, actually. You're talking to the Dark Makers. It seems my digital self can communicate with these poor, tortured minds quite well. Oh, they're just like you and me, Jack. But His skin is so creepy. Home. Someone to call a friend. Destruction of all my ego! They volunteered to help me put this puny planet out of its misery. <laughs> like it's it's actually like chunks You're in for of a big flesh. surprise. The Dark Makers don't play nicely with others. Just ask the metalheads. I've been given the opportunity to wield a power even the precursors could not control. Don't fret. You won't live to see what I turn this little world into. Maybe a rock, or a floating puddle of slag, or nothing at all. Complete oblivion! So hard to choose. I won't let you do this. Oh. No. No. He's so powerful, oh. he needs bodies to help him fight you. <laughs> Did he say too much for you? No, dude, I fought an army. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, let me go on. So, yeah, that's not the only games I really played on Super Nintendo, right? Like, um... Uh... uh so, when Smash Brothers came out, I never knew a vacuum either. I would look at the back of the case, and I would see a robot, right? Okay, yeah. Which is, of course, Samus. Yeah. And I'd see a bird, which is Kirby with a fan kicking with this neutral air. Yeah. Because like, the fan kind of looked like wings. Oh gosh, I just figured out how to And I had boss. no idea who these characters are. I was like, who the hell is Samus and Kirby? Right? Captain yeah. Falcon and Ness later on was like, who the hell are these, right? Yeah. But um, Kirby and Samus specifically, it wasn't until later that my friends had Superstar, but that was like way... That was after the GameCube was already like a thing, I think. Superstar is such a good video I game. I knew of A Link to the Past, but that was after, like, way later. So after we've already been playing Ocarina of Time, someone brought over, like, A Link to the Past at the Babysitter's House. Yeah. And I saw it for, like, a brief minute. Uh, I remember because, like, when I first saw Ocarina of Time, it was like, this game is amazing, right? Like, it was... I Sorry, I called it the game with the castle and the fire. Yeah. Because that's all Ow. I remembered from it. <laughs> wait, I, wait, wait, sorry. He just said, now you see why I never lose. Bruh, our history is you losing to me. That's that never happened, Trevor. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember going down that way. Um, but yeah, that's basically how a Super Nintendo was for me. It was just like there's a lot, all the classics, like all the RPGs, a lot of like the other stuff. Yeah, it's just kind of like unknown. Uh, Even on the N64, like. We played a lot, but we never, we, we, somehow, I never got a chance to play Banjo until later. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, Banjo, stuff like that, like, uh, what else? Like, I never played Kirby on the N64. Not this time. It's so weird how you just did that. Like, yeah, even, like, uh, Super Mario 64, it didn't blow my mind only because I'd seen the other N64 games before yeah. it. Because I actually had an NES at home and not 
anything else. Yeah. Like, the Super Nintendo was at my dad's house, so I couldn't play it. Uh -huh. Um... And after, like, learning of, like, Zelda and Ocarina of Time, I remember, like, going through my NES games and seeing... Oh, I have a Zelda game! Right, I can't yeah. wait to play this! It never worked. I still have that cartridge. It still doesn't work. It's the only cartridge I have for the NES that doesn't work. You can appreciate how, like, you're... You, as a I would have loved that game as a kid, too. It was probably would have been my favorite game. It's unfortunate that it was the only one that didn't work, because outside of that, I had Mario and Mario 3. Which, I liked Mario 1 more than Mario 3, because Mario 3 is too long. Yeah. But, other than that, the reason why I didn't like the NES as much is because I had all, like, the C-tier games. Not the B or the A-tier. I didn't have Mega Man. I didn't have Castlevania. I didn't have, like, Blaster Master or any of that stuff. You know what I had? I had Base Wars, which is a robot baseball game. Which <laughs> sounds cool, and it kind of is. But it's just baseball in the end. I had, um... Uh, I had Sky Shark, which is a really difficult like I, I played shooter. the shit out of Sky Shark. I had, I had 1943, another difficult bullet hell shooter, uh, which is better than Sky Shark, by the way. I had um, the Adventures of Bio Billy, which was probably my favorite game at the time. But that game is garbage. Like it's actually gimped purposefully because Konami didn't like people renting games, so they broke their game on purpose yeah. and made it not function. Um, I had Duck Hunt and Track Meat on the Mario Brothers cartridge. It's a very cool enemies going around in those boss fights. Sorry, yeah, I and I had Zelda you. 1, which didn't work. So I basically had like all of the uh, kind of like okay games. But... Yeah. Oh my god. He all gets away. Damn, he got away. Did he? We didn't See try very hard. Mechanator. This is very good. Yes! What's that jump? Yeah, yeah, what are these float jumps in real life? Fiction. Yes, silver, silver for that. <laughs> we took it to that robot goon and kicked his nuts! <laughs> oh my Arrow gosh. Got away, but we shut down his robot factory. That's good, but it is troubling <laughs> That's bad. to see what <laughs> I fear he may be trying to awaken that terrible dark ship before we can destroy it. That's bad. Onan says the precursors and dark makers have fought over worlds for as long as time has turned. That's, That's good. good. <laughs> it will not be the first time a planet was lost to those monsters. That's bad. That's bad. It's not going to be this planet. We've lasted this long. We've just got to find a way to destroy that thing. That's good. Why do you people just hide this stuff from me? <laughs> just give me the guns. This is a very cool weapon. Also. I thought it said the Mars Inventor. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Dope! <laughs> Just generates an entire planet. No, uh, the NES. Like, if I had Mega Man and Castlevania and if Zelda 1 had worked, I guarantee you I would have loved that console. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did not have access to the good NES games. Which kind of warps your perception of a console. Yeah, I've grown course. to appreciate it more okay. as oh, I've gotten older. I gotta show you how this gun works. It's pretty cool. Uh, so this is the mass inverter, right? Checks out. Oh, I screwed up. So the Pretty idea sick, yeah. is it's supposed to, like... I don't think it actually hurts anyone, or maybe it, it just kind of, like, stops them from hurting you. Yeah, and, so... And then you can kill them. But it's great in, like, platforming sequences, and I know it's going to come up later, like, in a bit. There's going to be a... Invincible enemies? No, 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 more like a run-for-your-life sequence, and the whole point is there's, like, metal heads that get in the way. So you can literally just use the mass inverter to be like, please get off me. Well, I platform. It's pretty cool. I actually like it a lot. Um, very neat idea. Doesn't do conventional damage. And I'm sure you can guess what the final peacemaker upgrade is in this video game. That Jonica just committed suicide. <laughs> yeah, he did. He had, he had nothing to live for anymore. Uh. But I, I think here's the thing. Super Nintendo had such a great roster of video games that. Even though all of my friends and I had different video games, yeah, every every one of us had something really fun to play. I mean, I only got to play with my friends because, like I said, I had NES at home, and the Super Nintendo was at my dad's house, so... But this is what my point is, right? Like, uh, you really got to appreciate how... Um, you can really super appreciate just super. how great the, the library was for that console, 
Whenever I used to play Sega Genesis with my friends, there was always like five good games. Like everyone had like You're Sonic. You're dissing on Genesis? You're gonna dig up some old wounds there, buddy. Listen, I like Sega Genesis. <laughs> bring up some PTSD from that war. I'm allowed to like... You know what's funny? I always bring this up. Like whenever the console wars would occur, like I'd have the GameCube and people would have, like everyone would find out at like junior high and they would be like, oh, the baby console. Like I have the PlayStation 2. Like you must be like so... And the thing is, I would never shit on the PS2. Yeah. How what I would do is I would defend the GameCube. Mm. I, but I wouldn't attack the PS2, right? Because mm. I never played it. Like if I had one, I wouldn't care. Like I, yeah. I wasn't against other consoles. I just preferred we were, mine. Dude, we were gamers of need and necessity, though. Like, we I played whatever was available to us. Like even though I played the PS1, I never wanted to run out and buy one versus the N64. Right? Yeah. Why is that thing wiggling? <laughs> What does it do? I think it's an emulator glitch. Shake that bad boy. I'm a certain it's an emulator glitch. But, uh... We lost this war a long time. But the, uh... Yeah, like, I just... I never did that. Like, everyone else used to do that. And I remember because someone was insisting that, like, because I mentioned, like, oh, but, you know, we got, like, you know, GameCube's got Mario Sunshine, and that game's awesome. And they're like, yeah, I have it on the PS2 as well. I hacked it. Yeah, it was uh, just funny because I'm pretty sure the PS2 would have an extremely difficult time running Sunshine. I do remember people used to brag about modding their consoles so they would play bootleg games. Yeah, but Sunshine, I don't think. I, I mean, no, even no, no, if you no, could hack saying... Sunshine to work on the PS2, the frame rate and the graphics would have to be like really reduced. I was, and it's so funny because like little little did I know that in a very short period of time, whoops, in a very short period of time, video games were going to uh, pretty much be at my fingertips for very little money or very easy emulation, you know? Like, it was it was right around the corner. I was just waiting on it. Like, it was going to be no difficulty for me to get my hands on, like, a brand new... Ah, this stupid friggin' grasshopper. Uh, anyway, yeah. Like, at, in no time at all, I was going to have unlimited access to, like, video games and stuff. So, people being like, oh, I can burn, I can burn or change your console for hundreds of dollars, uh... I can burn your or change your console for hundreds of dollars, and uh, it'll be able to play bootleg video games. Okay, well, hear me out. In ten years, I'm going to be able to just go on the computer and find those video games. Maybe not legally, but I mean, modding consoles wasn't legal anyway. Well, the modding the console was, but the boot downloading the games was not. Yeah. Ripping your own... Well, technically, ripping your own backups is not allowed either, because if you're breaking DRM, you're not allowed to do that either. Yep. But, uh... Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, uh... But people would always do that. To, like, they... Like, whenever someone would find out what console you'd have, they'd have to, like, be like, well, I have the PS2. And I'm like, okay. Like, That's, well, that was the thing, Like, though. you know, we that have was... Grand Theft Auto, which is funny, because I got the Xbox, and I got access to anything I could want that the PS2 had. Because the only thing that PS2 had that I couldn't get on the Xbox was, like, you know, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet which and I Clank, never even knew Jack about, so I didn't care. Yeah. And RPGs, which I wasn't interested Lots in at of the Final time. Fantasies, yeah. Which I wasn't interested in at the time. You know, what the Xbox had that the PS2 didn't, it was Halo, Halo yeah. Star Wars games, like Knights of the Republic... I remember And when the GameCube had the Nintendo exclusive, so it's like, for me, everyone's like, do you ever regret not having a PS2? And I'm no, like, no, really. because I, at the time, nothing on the PS2 would appeal to me. I remember my first, I didn't get my first Sony console until I was like 17, I think. The PS3? PS2. Oh. No, wait, no, 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 I wouldn't have been 17. No, I was like, you, you were you were graduating high school I would have been soon. like 15 when I got my first console, or like PS, play, Sony yeah, console. Yeah, I was like and 14, I remember I 13 got, when I got the Xbox. I got Kingdom Hearts. That was my first console game for PS2. And I remember it really did change the game for me, because like, it was something... There was just so many games that I wanted on PS2 that I couldn't get on GameCube. GameCube used to have substitute video games. For instance, fun fact... To all you long-time viewers who aren't watching this video, um, I actually only bought Metal Arms Glitch in the system because it was a Ratchet and Clank replacement for me. I really wanted to play Ratchet and Clank because my buddy had Going Commando and I played Going Commando and was like, this game's amazing. It's gotta exist on uh, GameCube somewhere. And I found out that Ratchet and er, Metal Arms Glitch in the system was somewhat of a Ratchet and Clank-like substitute. Yeah, that and was, I that played was, it. It's yeah. not exactly like you know. Obviously, if you've played Ratchet or er, Metal Arms, you know it's not a Ratchet and Clank replacement. No. But it did give me what I wanted, which was a third-person platformer action game with yeah, upgradable you know what? guns. I have that too because like I played Vice City on my friend's Xbox, but like on the GameCube, 
you know, or even the Xbox before I could get to the city, we had True Crime Streets of L.A., yeah. right? Which was our replacement. Yeah. Now, nowadays, I like both games for different reasons. Exactly. My city's a better game, but... You know, as a kid, you know, it's like, it's essentially like, this is my open world, like, get in vehicles yeah, this and is, do this is, cause you, mayhem You had game. to find that replacement video game. You know, that thing that you couldn't get on another console. I thought spikes were coming up. Actually, that's so funny, because, like, the reason why I, I appreciate Mario 64 so much more now that I can appreciate it for what it is. But as a kid, the reason why I didn't like Mario 64 as much is because it's not the game I wanted, right? Yeah. When I had to go rent games for my N64, it was like... Ocarina of Time. It was rented. Yeah. Okay, Pajora's Mask. It was rented. All right. Goldeneye. It was yeah. rented. All right. Star Fox. Rented. Right? And then yeah. you would sigh, and you would look at Mario 64, and it was there. Yeah. And the problem with Mario 64 is I'd always have to play through the first half of the game, and then I would get to, like, uh, Hazy Maze Cave, or Wet Dry World, and it's like, this I, I was, suck. I, it's... And I would just give up there, and then it would rinse and repeat every two weeks when I go to my dad's house, because it would be like... Can I rent the game I want to this time? Nope. Well, I guess we're playing Mario 64 again. Hold on, Hazy Maze. I I know. I like the level more now. Wet Dry World. Which one is that? Wet Dry World is the one where you can change the water level. Oh, and I like that, that, that stage. I actually like that stage. It's it's better now that I can appreciate it, but I don't care for it as a, I didn't like it as a kid because it was difficult, right? Yeah. Fun but, fact, Jesse. When we got this power up, we were making fun of it because we were like, we're never gonna use this power up again. Yeah. It's kind of dope. That's good. Uh, but yeah, that's why that's my story for why I didn't care for Mario 64 as much and why Sunshine was my Mario game, even though I played 64 first, is because of that reason. It's just like, it was like the game that I only played because I couldn't play at the one I really wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I could never rent GoldenEye. It was like, impossible. Right? Yeah. Like, I remember for Christmas once... My cousins managed to, like, snag a copy of her rent of Gold Knight. That was, like, the best, like, you know, trip out to my cousin's place ever, right? Yeah, Because it was like, finally, I was allowed to play this. Because, fun fact for you, it existed at my babysitter's house, but I wasn't allowed to play it. I wasn't allowed to play any game, but uh, I wasn't allowed to play it, so I couldn't play it. Sorry, and I quote, I remember my dad was upset about this. I quote, you can't play games because you get too excited when you play them, so therefore no video games for you. Jesse... You get too excited. My dad was like, I'm pretty sure it's because... Oh, uh, I actually have to do this. She had her own family to babysit too on top of me. Uh, and that was probably the reason was because uh, she wanted to let them play. Yeah. But there was other people there that weren't from her family and they got to play. It was just me. Little, I, so like, I like, like how we're having like a PTSD moment and So I'm Jesse just sitting here, here like confused. You know, it was funny as I tried, to, I tried to rationalize it. I'm like, there have got to be some reason why they wouldn't let me play games that's re legit. But that's just what I was told. Yeah. But I'm sure there was some reason. Of course, it could just be there being assholes. You never know. People know. are like that. Yeah, I know. I, I just appreciate that you were like, you had to like... Well, I'm upset because I'm like, I could never play GoldenEye. That's why I wanted to rent it. But like, I couldn't. And it's not like I couldn't have access to the game. It existed at my babysitter's house, which I was at every single day. But I was never allowed to play it. So... You can't, you know, it might as well have not, it might as well have just been that I game. guess you might want to argue that maybe GoldenEye is, like, the equivalent, what the hell do you want from me, game? I probably oh. could have, it was hilarious, is I probably could have rented Perfect Dark with no issue, but I, I, you, how are you going to rent Perfect Dark when you don't even know Perfect Dark exists? Yo, man, when I found out Perfect Dark existed, that changed everything. Perfect Dark was that game that, you know, I found out about, and I was like, this isn't even real. It's still unknown, because, like, literally, GoldenEye is, like, 30, 40 bucks on N64. It's still not that expensive, but, like, uh, yeah. Perfect Dark, you can find for, like, 15, 20 bucks, because people just don't, aren't, still somehow aren't aware of its existence. Yeah. Wow, is that shield just, oh, I see. I was like, is that just I wouldn't perfect say picture? Perfect Dark is, like, cut and dry better than GoldenEye. I think it's better, but, like, it's mostly for multiplayer. I actually think the single-player campaign... Campaign? Just, campaign. Campaign. And to some extent, some of the guns are better in GoldenEye. Like, I'd rather play through King, uh, GoldenEye single player than Perfect Darks. Not that Perfect Darks is bad. It's good. But, like, uh, I feel like GoldenEye is a bit better. We talked about this a little bit, but, like, it's funny when you, um... When you play a game... Ah! When you play a game like, uh, GoldenEye... Or Halo, after you play... Gold, uh, Halo was, like, the first modern first-person shooter I played, and I remember it took me so long 
to wrap my head around the idea of a twin stick. I don't shooter. remember ever having a problem with it, but I it wasn't a problem. That's I must have. The... I must have played a game before. I that. didn't. I didn't use the word problem. I when I when I remember. My friend was telling me you have to aim and shoot at the same time. I remember everything changed. I was like, "Are you serious?" Whoa! Yeah, it's so weird though, cause like, I, st I see. I still think Goldeneye's perfectly playable because like people just don't know how to play it is the problem. Is that a it's gold? A gold? <laughs> nice. Jealous. Yeah, I think it's just that people just don't know how to play Goldeneye. They pick it up but they try to play it like. Wait, wait. Once again, you stand before me, brave one. And once again, your heroism shall be rewarded. For walking I here? give you a new light power. One which will help you reach new places. Places only in your dreams. Um, so I can't actually use it then? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to take a nap? Or like, what's the deal? Alright, that's it for this episode, guys. Join us in the next part where we give these light wings a, a go. And we'll uh, just see where we end up. All right, then. All right, take it easy, y'all. Bye.